Hi, I'm John Mana from Worship Drummer. And have you ever wondered how drummers mount their Roland SPDSX over their kick drum? Stick around because in this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how you can do the same. Coming right up. And as we get started, I just want to make sure I mention that we will link to everything in this video down in the description. So be sure to check that out. I am at the video editing desk and I'm just going to show you how we go from this setup where we have no Roland SPDSX. It's just a standard setup to this. All right. And it's actually not that hard. And I'm going to, the way I've built this tutorial is that hopefully you have enough stands or clamps lying around that all you would really need to do is purchase this Roland APC 33. It's a clamp set. It comes with a plate, which is very helpful. I want to pause real quick to let you know that this video is brought to you by worshipdrumsamples.com where for one low monthly price, you get unlimited access to a growing library of worship drum samples. These are drum samples created specifically for the songs your church is singing every single Sunday. What I love about worship drum samples is that it removes the guesswork out of figuring out what sounds or samples should we use for specific songs week to week. So. The guest works out, it's time saving, everything's provided for you. You just gotta load them up into your Roland SPDSX or your favorite drum pad, and off you go to your worship practice, rehearsal, or Sunday service. So that's worshipdrumsamples.com. Check them out. The link is below in the video description. Once you have your Roland clamp unboxed, you're gonna find the plate. You're gonna need to remove the four screws that should be underneath your Roland SPDSX. You're gonna need these screws to screw in the plate. And for this, I just used a standard drill with a Phillips head. Once your plate is completely secured, then it's time to get your base stand ready. And in my case, you can see that I had to move some symbols around. I had to make more space because I wanted to mount this above the kick drum, maybe where a second rack tom would be. And so I needed to create the space. My first attempt wasn't enough. I was trying to put the Roland clamp straight onto one of my little symbol stands, but the, the arm length was not sufficient to reach where I needed it. So I found this other symbol arm with a, an extension mount, another clamp that I used and I got a close up to show you right here. And then I mounted the Roland APC 33 onto that pretty much in the position I needed it to be and voila we got it now because my cymbal stand that I'm using is not double braced and it's an older one I didn't want to spend extra money quite yet and so you'll notice that there's a bit of shake when I um, set it up and if I'm hitting it you'll see that maybe it moves just a little and as long as you're not putting too much weight or pressure on it, you're not like leaning on your SPDSX, you should be okay. Uh, you'll have a bit of movement, but to correct that, you just need a better stand and it should hold everything together. Took a bit of playing around to get the setup just where I needed it. And to be quite honest, because I didn't have another stand, um, my ride stand, is also the one that my floor tom mounts to. So this is not necessarily ideal. It's a lot of strain probably on one cymbal stand to hold all of it, but it works for now. Um, I got a decent position for where I need my ride to go and I had to remove a cymbal because now I'm using that cymbal stand 
as my stand for the Roland SPDSX. But it's okay. Uh, for this exercise and for what I do with worship drum samples, this is the setup I need more than having an extra cymbal stand. So we're going to show you all this and now I'm just going to get to an example of what it could look like. Uh, once it's all set up, I'm going to show you some video angles here. And then also, once everything is connected, I can show you a playthrough. Once I had it in the position, then it was time to route the wires. Obviously, you're going to need to power up your Roland SPDSX, so you need an extension not too far away. And then secondly, I had a long USB cable that I didn't always want to have to, you know, pull my laptop off of where I have it to the left of my drum set um, if I wanted to change up my samples or add some new ones. So I had a longer USB cable lying around that uh, fits the back of the Roland SPDSX. And so it reaches. That worked really well for me. Another thing that you're going to need to plug in is your quarter inch jack depending on your setup, but let's go with a basic setup of the Roland SPDSX. You use your L mono out, and so that runs into a direct box that has an XLR going into my audio interface. And so you can see that as well as I connected the cables, and we power on the unit, and then we get to play it. And so here is a sample of how that all sounds. Well, that completes this tutorial of how to set up your Roland SPDSX over your kick drum and I hope it was helpful. Um, I didn't have it all figured out but by the end I was able to achieve my goal of setting it up the way I needed as you can see right behind me. And uh, listen, if you found this video helpful, why don't you hit like as well as share it with other drummers that might need to uh, know this information. As well, be sure to subscribe to the channel because we're going to have other videos coming your way that will be helpful. And that is it. My name is John Mana. This is the Worship Drummer channel on YouTube. The Worship Channel Drummer. This is the Worship Drummer channel on YouTube. It doesn't. It's not the podcast, but it does it still work? Anyways, that's 